What is up, Dokkan player? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy Blaze here. We are back with another Dokkan battle video. And today, before we start the video, of course, hopefully you guys have a very good day today. So today we're gonna go ahead and do a guy for the carnival coin. Should you pick a character in the Baba Shop? Because as you guys know, for the eight-year anniversary banner part two, um, because they are carnival LRs, we now have access to the characters with our teal or carnival coins in the Baba Shop. Um, so first thing first, I do want to say that as far as these characters at the bottom, you definitely do not want to fall for the strap. Do not spend a single coin on these side banner units. One of the reasons why is because these guys are always going to be available um, either in the upcoming future summons. But again, they're just not really worth, in my opinion, the teal coins because, um, like, again, you can still pull them for free. Uh, and at a certain point, if you keep summoning Dokkan, you're going to pull multiple copies and potentially rainbow even the SSR. Um, but also as well as that they are currently part of the 7-7 multi um, free ticket banner which will be available in part 3. Um, but you can see here we have Piccolo, we have Gohan, uh, we have Krillin here as well. So again, you just don't want to use um, oops, you just don't want to use your carnival coins on these side banner units because they're just not worth it. Especially also that some of these characters are also part of the current banner right now uh, for Goku and Kid Gohan's banner. So definitely do not want to use your teal coins on these. Um, and as far as the LRs here, uh, I do have some recommendations of which characters you should probably choose if you actually want to go ahead and actually purchase with your carnival coins. But I would definitely say that you maybe want to wait and actually not potentially use them. Um, and one of the reasons why is because these guys were introduced last year, right? Um, and the thing is that this is a very different format from the Worldwide Celebration, right? Because as we can see here in 2022... Uh, which is almost a year ago, uh, you see here that they actually changed the format. So we actually had Carnival Goku in part two, and then part sorry, part one, sorry, and then part two, we had LR Metal Cooler. So what I'm trying to say is that there's a, actually a pretty good chance that we could see them on the banner again, on the legendary summon carnival banner. Um, so really you don't want to go ahead and use your carnival coins because again you could potentially end up pulling uh, these guys in the upcoming future carnival banner so you do want to go ahead and maybe not of course um just wait until the uh worldwide celebration which is be in about a month's time so uh again it's it, i don't recommend you use your carnival coins but there's certain characters that i can maybe defend here which you should maybe get with your carnival coin sorry um if you don't have a copy yet so my first one my first recommendation i would definitely say here that this super saiyan goku is definitely someone I can vouch for that you want to go ahead and get with your teal coins but again i'd probably suggest that you're going to wait a month's time because you can maybe pull also i mean multiple copies of him with the upcoming new uh lr carnival uh character right but this super saiyan goku is fantastic he's on a lot of different teams has a lot of good linking partners here as well and he has one of the best in my opinion one of the best revival mechanics because all it requires you is be your hp below 59 percent and then also get your free revive that's pretty much all you really need um, he has a very good active skill here as well, which is also pretty good. But the fact that he guards all attacks and he also stacks defense on his uh, 18 key super just makes his character really, really versatile. And the fact that also that one of the best LR EZAs is LR AGL Gohan is his best looking partner, which he also has guard here as well, is just really incredible. So I would definitely recommend if you don't have your first copy and you really want to spend your carnival coins, then definitely go ahead and get your copy of Super Saiyan Carnival Goku. He is definitely, definitely worth it, in my opinion. Um, that's be my number one pick. The other picks right here, I would definitely say here that we have your Golden Frieza, we have your Metal Cooler, and we also have your, of course, um, LR Fusion Zamasu. Um, Golden Frieza, I would also say, is also a potential someone you want to get with your Teal Coins, but I would say you definitely want to wait here as well. And one of the reasons why it would be the same argument for this LR Fusion Zamasu is that you could potentially actually pull these characters for free with the 77 ticket multi, which we'll get here later on in the celebration. So um, they are going to be part of the banner, as you guys could see. Um, but overall, I would say as my number two pick, if you don't want to go for Super Saiyan Goku, you can definitely go here for Golden Frieza. Um, he's one of the best defensive extreme class units or LRs um, because it's just very scarce when you actually look at the defensive units in the extreme type. Um, because JP, there are some new characters, but on global, it's just not that, um, there's not that many good options, right? Uh, even with the newest release, like Super 17, 
he, he's such such a hassle to try and get out, and he's not, he doesn't have the best teams. Where this Frieza is on a bunch of teams here, um, which he can even if he's not on a two percent leader skill, he can still be a very good defensive god because he has a ninety percent damage reduction. So um, I would definitely say here that uh, Frieza is someone that you could potentially get with your teal coins, um, but I wouldn't say it is as important. And the reason why is because Frieza is a yellow coin banner LR as well, so you can actually. Um, Pull them on your yellow, on your with your yellow red coins. I mean, sorry, yellow coins in the Baba Shop here as well. So not as much as uh, urgency compared to like Goku, but uh, Frieza is definitely I would say still an option to get with your teal coins if you really want to get a copy. Um, Golden Frieza again is just a really good extreme LR um, when it comes to the when it comes to defense. So I have no arguments here for Frieza. Now we also have here, of course, Metal Cooler. Uh, Metal Cooler, I would say, is is not as good as, as Frieza, and one of the reasons why is because Cooler, um, unfortunately, got shafted on a bunch of teams like Space Traveling Warriors and even the LRSGR Cooler team, um, because if we actually take a look at the 200% leader skill, there's only going to be two, but these are going to be super class um, cards, which he doesn't really look up very well because he's an extreme villain that wants to be with other villains here because he has, like, big bad bosses, uh, thirst for conquest. Like, these are really important links. Um, which is only a fortune going to be for extreme class units. Um, one of the other things that they did drop the ball for LR Metal Cooler is that his best looking partner, which should be the Easy AGL, uh, Dokkan Fest Dok uh, Cooler, uh, that should have been his best looking partner, but fortunately they share the same name, so they did drop the ball here. So uh, Metal Cooler, I don't really have anything negative to say about him. It's just that, you know, right now it's just not his best situation. He does have a free revive, which is really good because there's no turn restriction or HP. But it does require him to be the only character to, to kind of die in order to activate. Um, now, this in the future can be really powerful if ever Dokkan decides to remove the restriction of one revival. If they were maybe to put two revivals allowed, then now we'd be cooking with Metal Cooler because now you can definitely run two copies of Metal Cooler and have no worries in slot number one because he can revive twice per battle. So, um... But unfortunately, right now, with only one revival, you don't really want to run two metal coolers. And on top of that, um, running one metal cooler, like, there's just better options, in my opinion, for a metal cooler when you're running on a 200% leader skill um, that he's going to be on, right? Like, this is super fast. There's just way better options to put in this team compared to metal cooler. But metal cooler is still good overall. But again, this is the same situation as the uh, Goku, where these guys could return in the Worldwide Celebration, which would be in about a month's time. Um, as you can see, the banner drop here for part two was um, September 15, but part one banner, sorry, it's part two, but part one banner, uh, I believe was August 25th. Uh, that banner was, sorry, August 28th was when the banner dropped. So we have about a month's time here to potentially see these characters back again. So that's why you don't want to go too crazy uh, by getting these guys right away. Um, my other option here, as you guys saw in the beginning of the video, is going to be Fusions of Masu. Um, Fusions of Masu is the same kind of situation with Frieza. He's a yellow coin LR, um, but he's still pretty good. The only problem with this character here as well is that he's on a 200% leader skill, but his other characters that make him a lot better are not going to be part of it, so they become more of a liability for Merge of Masu. But Merge of Masu is still pretty good. He's going to be mostly a slot 2 or 3 character. Um, the reason why is because he gets all this extra defense on his super deck and on his passive where he also does a guaranteed additional super attack when he performs an ultra super attack um, or an 18 key super. So he's in 50% on defense and then 50% on his 12 key super. Then extra 20, 50% from his passive. And he also gets the extra damage reduction. So Zamasu is actually really, really good and very powerful. He's also had the chance to be super effective against all types. Um, and he also has a nullification here as well, um, which is uh, pretty... Rare to see, I would say, for Merge Zomasu, but still pretty cool to see. Uh, but again, he's just in the same situation for Frieza, where basically he's a yellow coin, and you can get him for free here as well with the 77 banner. So I would probably say, you know, you definitely want to wait um, in order to actually get this character. If you want to use your, your teal coins, you definitely want to wait uh, until you summon on this banner, and then if you don't pull him, then again, you... You can still get him, but he's also a yellow coin LR, so it's not someone that's urgency you need to get with your carnival coins. So, um, but I mean, I can I can make an argument that this Zamasu 
uh, could be worth your teal coins because what he brings to the table is just that he doesn't have a very optimal team for this character in order to activate all his links and, you know, have that slot one character, right? We do have your uh, LR Zamasu and Rose, but again, they don't share a 20% leader skill, so these guys can be a reliability in the long run. So, um, this is really unfortunate right now for the stream class category. So, uh, again, that's gonna be my two cents. Hopefully, this guy helps you out with your decision about which character you should choose with your carnival coin. Again, the main message is that you definitely want to hold out your teal coins because, again, these characters are going to be back as far as Metal Cooler and Super Saiyan Goku. I'm pretty sure, like 90% sure, they'll be back in the Worldwide Celebration banner. Um, but if you really had to go ahead and maybe choose a character, uh, my number one option would be definitely uh, this uh, Goku, Super Saiyan Goku, then maybe Frieza, then maybe Cooler, and then maybe... Uh, Fusion Masu, but definitely Super Saiyan Goku is definitely worth your 500 teal coins. As far as the other LR characters, don't even bother. Those guys are just outdated or just have aged out. Um, for example, Vegeta is just definitely not good. Um, Goku and Gohan, this card has been so frequently available in every single banner. I would be shocked if no one pulled this character. So they're still pretty good, but they're just, again, they've been on every single banner. So I definitely not recommend getting this character. Um, Kalkin Goku can be pretty decent, but as we see with the content later in the future, uh, or even now, uh, his defense is isn't as good as it needs to be. Uh, we have LR Piccolo and Goku. They're very good, but once you turn into Piccolo, he's just a glass cannon. They definitely fumbled his character. Uh, Trunks and Gohan definitely they're okay. Vegeta's okay here as well. Um, and then Gohan and UI Goku, those are just old units which have definitely, like, aged out. Uh, maybe not UI Goku, but this boy has been laying me down with the 70% chance to dodge, so I'm just not really a fan right now. So, that's gonna be a video, my boys. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys choose with your teal coins. Um, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button. Sub for more videos, comment down below, and hopefully I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace!